Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one and only Great Dane. So I'm outside today with a, well, somewhat of a vlog. So it's finally here, A Day in the Life 2020, which will be produced by Ridley Scott. So this is my submission for it, basically. I said I would do it. And I go more in depth on basically what it is in another video, which I've made previously, which kind of seemed relevant at the time. But I'll make sure to leave a link in the iCard if you want to know what it's about and how you can take part. Basically, you, you just make a video, but there's a little more to it than that. So, guys, basically the point of this video is just going to be talking about what a day in my life is like. So, really, I, I can't say my life has changed too much. I mean, I never suppose I really got out of the house all that much. And after COVID-19, I suppose I still don't get out of the house that much, except for, like, yard work and all that jazz, you know, maintaining the household. So it has been interesting though, because just recently, it's been about seven years now, but we finally have these uh, berry bushes by the road here that are popping up. And I, I think it's really cool because I find it interesting that the berries are kind of like a box of chocolates in a way where you never really know what you're gonna get. In the essence of that, they're either rather sour or rather sweet, and it's always interesting to take a bite and find out. So, the basic questions for essence of a day in life, if you don't know, is what do you love, what do you fear, what do you want to change about the world or for yourself, and what is in your pocket? So, in an essence, what I love is myself, and that might sound narcissistic, but it took a while to get to that point because, in all honesty, I didn't used to like myself that much, and I think a lot of people just pass this off as it doesn't really matter, but it really is important to know who you are and appreciate yourself, because if you don't, how can you expect other people to? So... What do I fear? Well, personally, my biggest fear right now would be people I care about being infected with COVID-19 and not surviving. I think that'd be a huge impact on me mentally, honestly. And I, th I think really with the way that the United States is right now, we've in an essence somewhat kind of hit rock bottom. So we have two choices. We can get out our pickaxes we can continue to go to parties, not wear masks, or follow mandates. And we can dig straight past rock bottom into something we just can't get ourselves out of. So, like, say the hospitals get overwhelmed and then things get really bad. Or we can try to follow the rules and build a ladder to get ourselves out of this hole we created by not taking action soon enough. I don't really, like, they, the government and politics, they say they did what they could. I, I feel that a little more if they just took it a little more seriously, like, oh, it's just COVID-19. And when it was first talked about in school, I can definitely say people kind of took it as a joke. And now it's a huge deal. So what would I change about the world or myself? In all honesty... If I could change anything about the world, I wish the world wasn't so capitalistic. And in essence, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, money makes the world go round, and for, for the most part, it pretty much does. And what I wish I could change for myself, and really anyone ever, is that you could just do what you wanted whenever you wanted, and not have money be that depending factor that even depended on what are you going to eat today, or what do you have to sleep on, you know? I, I really wish I could change that. I just don't see a viable option without making everything go into chaos and anarchy. Because without order, things get rather bad. So, the last question is, what is in my pocket? So I made sure to <laughs> take this V-Buck which I kept in my pocket just for this video. This is my pocket right here. I'm putting it in. <laughs> I don't want to dab on the haters or anything. So why do I have a V-Buck in my pocket? 
Well, personally, a lot of people said Fortnite was dying. I don't believe it is, and I think the stream I held yesterday kind of proved that. So, like, I streamed for five hours, and I got about 20 views, and I'm not trying to, like, uh, give out promos or anything. I, I think it was really fun, because for the people that did manage to show up and who wanted to actually play and make sure they subscribed, they not only helped out my channel, my dream of becoming a professional YouTuber, which is honestly where I want to see myself in 2030, but I can't get my hopes up too much because in an essence, from what I've been told, it is somewhat luck-based, but I refuse to believe that and I'll just keep posting a video every day, no matter how long it takes, I suppose. So, I, I met some great people on that stream. We had a lot of fun. And that is why I have a V-Buck in my pocket. Because I believe as long as a community base is around that share that passion and fire for what they believe in, I always think there's going to be something around to savor that. Because you can make your reality from your minds. And I think that's something that's very important. It, it all depends on what you believe in. And again, which is why I go back to why you should love yourself. Because that gives you the strength to go on when things aren't always easy. So I think that really answers the questions. But about me personally. So a life in my day. So, you know, you have your basic housework and yard work. And then I've been trying to get into more interesting hobbies or things I wouldn't necessarily take into. And I think this is a great time to improve upon yourself. If you feel like one of those people who are bored, you can try to take up a new hobby or learn something. Something as simple as drawing or writing cursive is something that was taken out of school systems for a little while when I was in school, so I never really got down to that. It, it's an interesting thing. I'm not specifically sure if it ever really be necessary, but it is nice to know because it can be used to help you write notes a little faster if you need to send mail. Though not many people send by mail nowadays, but it's certainly appreciated when they do. I have gotten some nice letters from teachers in cursive with very um, inspiring messages, so I'm glad to receive those. So, I've been a little more um, persistent with my violin practice recently. I've been trying to get that um, vibrato in. I think it really differentiates those who are average and those who try to be professional because it shows the dedication in how you move your muscles with the finger movements. So I have been taking like drawing or even singing a little bit. I don't usually do anything vocally, but I've made videos on pretty much everything I've talked about. I haven't done anything on drawing. Again, you guys can make sure to leave a comment in the description. So I said this is my um, submission for a day in the life of 2020 on today is July 25th. But I will be posting this to my YouTube channel for today as well just so people can see it. And honestly, I feel that many people that can do it should do it as well because they can look back and in 2030 they can ask themselves, am I where I want to be right now? And this can be a message to yourself kind of. So we've also... Recently, during the COVID-19, we've got these uh, little <laughs> chickens in here. So, we've, with the berries and the chickens, it's been a little <laughs> saying hi there. Been a little easier on the self-sustaining part. So, learning to take care of the chickens and literally building this entire cage <laughs> by hand and from stuff around the yard has been. Uh, frustrating but successful you know family gets work done when you work together so day day in my life it's work it's fun I think the most important thing that we can say for a day in the life of 2020 is to not just try to survive but if you can try to thrive try to find your way around something that you enjoy and don't just feel like you're getting by day by day because maybe you feel lonely or without friends. It, it might be just as simple as picking up the phone or sending them an email. Say it's like a school friend. Just 
shoot an email to them and maybe you could get in better contact and you won't feel so lonely anymore. Maybe it's something you just haven't considered before or didn't really feel you could take action on. It's not too hard, guys, I swear. But again, I, I want to thank you guys who have stuck around with the channel. I'm not giving up just yet and I don't know how long it's going to take if I really can't get this off the ground. I know people have been able to create successful gaming channels and live the life the way they want to and not like spend 30 years in a dead-end job that they dislike and then finally quit or they have like their um, mortgage paid off or something where they can finally not work as hard and they can finally say, oh, now I have time to enjoy my life. I want to find a way where I don't have to give up all those years to enjoy my life. I, I want to say I enjoyed my life every day because, guys, you only have so long to live and that is a devastating truth but if you take that to heart you really can achieve greatness so thank you guys so much for watching have a great day please leave in the comments if you'll be doing a submission either on your channel or just in general i would love to see what other people have to say it is a splendid day to be outside probably won't myself because i don't get out enough but peace guys i really hope you're enjoying your lives. It's not as bad as some people make it out to be. It, again, it really just depends on people's feeling like the depression or just not talking to people enough. It, it really can be simple to get in contact. Even, I find, I think like some of the people on my stream yesterday, like they might have been lonely or something or they didn't have anyone to play with, which is why they're looking for a Fortnite streamer, even as small as I am. Just someone to talk to is nice or talk about something you have in common. But again, I really can't thank you guys enough. So have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to help me out. I'm not going to beg, but it means a lot. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoy this video. I do not do vlogs often, or I don't really care to do vlogs. But it has been nice to get outside. So just make sure to stay healthy. Peace, guys. Good luck.